Raise your hand if you plan your life around Girl Scout cookie season. I know I do. Well now I'm gonna show you how to make them homemade so you can have them whenever you want. So every single year, I order from my friend's niece, Leah, and I get as many boxes as will fit in my freezer. But let's face it, that only lasts me a couple months, and I love Samoas. So the bonus about this recipe is they're super easy to make, and you can add as much chocolatey caramel coconut topping as you want. For the cookies, you need one cup of unsalted butter, a half a cup of sugar, two cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon salt, two tablespoons of milk, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. For the topping, you need three cups of shredded coconut, 15 ounces of soft caramels, three tablespoons of milk, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and eight ounces of dark chocolate. We're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees, and then we're just gonna make a simple shortbread cookie recipe. So I'm just gonna cream together my butter and sugar. And then in my other bowl, I'm just gonna mix together my flour, baking powder, and salt. And then I'm just gonna add my dry ingredients to my sugar and my butter in thirds. Next, add your milk and vanilla extract. And always be sure to scrape down the sides so you get all those ingredients mixed together. And it's as simple as that. Now I'm just gonna take our cookie dough and put it onto some plastic wrap. And we're gonna place this in the refrigerator for about an hour. What we need is we need the dough to get nice and cold so the butter can re-solidify so that when we bake the cookies, we get that nice, crispy shortbread texture that we love. And what I love about this recipe is you can make the shortbread dough ahead of time so you can just get into the fun stuff immediately and put it in the fridge. As soon as the dough is set, we're gonna roll it out on a lightly floured surface. And the best way to do this without going overboard is just to feed the chickens. Just take a little flour and you feed them. Take the dough, it's gonna be really hard, so you gotta work with it using your rolling pin. And we're gonna roll it out an eighth of an inch thick. And just cause it's easier, I'm gonna roll out half of the dough at a time. So if you can find one, get a donut cutter. This is your standard donut cutter. It's two inches across and it has the nice little circle in the middle. If you can't find it, no big deal. Use a biscuit cutter, but you need a two inch round biscuit cutter and a one inch round biscuit cutter so you can create the center. So, using a spatula, I'm gonna take that dough and then the center comes right out. So this is the base of our Samoa. And I'm just gonna put this on a baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper. But you can create the same effect using biscuit cutters. You just have to carefully put that down. And I find that it's easiest to take that out so you can see, and then just kinda eyeball the center. Cut it out and use a spatula to get that cookie. There we go. So I'm gonna keep going, re-rolling out the dough and cutting out as many cookies as I can. When I was growing up, I always wondered what it would be like to be a Girl Scout and wear a vest and have all those cool badges. I wonder if they have an eating badge. I would totally earn that one. Now I'm gonna bake these for 10 to 12 minutes, turning them halfway through until they're pale golden brown. Now our shortbread cookies are baked and cooled. Look how fantastic they look. Now we're gonna get into the fun stuff of making the Samoas. So into a double boiler, I have my caramel candies and I'm just using these little squared caramels. This takes a little patience, you want them to slowly melt. And then we're gonna add our milk and salt to the mixture and mix it in. So this caramel sauce is actually gonna be really thick and we really want that because it's gonna give the cookie that nice chewy texture that we love so much about Samoas. And then I already toasted our coconut. Super simple, I just put our coconut onto a baking sheet at 350 degrees for about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. You just want it to be a nice golden brown. Once our caramel is completely melted, I'm gonna carefully pour three quarters of this over our coconut, leaving the other quarter in the bowl. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh yeah. Now this is a really sticky job, but someone has to do it. So I'm just gonna carefully try to combine all that caramel with the coconut. Now the reason why we're leaving the quarter of the caramel in here is because that's gonna act as the glue for our coconut mixture. So let me show you how to put one together. Just gonna take a little bit of this caramel and just put it right on top of the cookie. It doesn't have to look pretty because we're gonna cover this whole thing with coconut anyways. And then if you want, you could flip it over and dip it in there. I'm just gonna use my hands, now that this is cooled, and take all this yummy coconut and place it on top. Now the joys of making these at home is you can add as much of this as you want. It's like a little coconut wreath. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Once I'm done, I'm gonna put these back into the refrigerator, let them set up for about half an hour, and then these guys are going for a chocolate bath. 
I am so excited because now we can add the finishing touch, the chocolate. So this is what I call a sweet, sweet Samoa assembly line. So all I did was put some chocolate candy melts in a bowl in the microwave and melted them until it's nice and melty. And the first thing we're gonna do is take our Samoa cookie and we're gonna dip the bottom. Oh my gosh, you know, there's a couple steps to make this cookie, but it is well worth it. I actually like making these a couple weeks before Girl Scout cookie season comes out. I give them to all my friends and they always ask me, how did you get them so early? Oh my God, these taste amazing. Where did you get them from? And I'm like, guys, I made them homemade. And now for the signature drizzle, I'm gonna use a fork, get it into my chocolate, and then just drizzle back and forth, top to bottom, just like a Samoa. So you get that chocolate on the bottom, on the top. I absolutely love these cookies. I cannot wait to try one. Mm. Oh yeah. These cookies are so rich and buttery. I love that chewy caramel coconut topping and the dark chocolate just pulls it all together. This is absolutely one of my favorite flavor combinations. Now if Samoas aren't your jam, be sure to check out our homemade Thin Mints video. I don't know which is my favorite. Maybe the Thin Mints, I'm partial to Thin Mints. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. And please find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm Brandy and I'll see you next time, bye. Mm.